it's Sarah and it's late but I just wanted to share the box I finished the box I also <coughs> excuse me I embedded the jewelry pieces or well the um yeah most of them are jewelry pieces I would say they all are I mean these are charms that um I got the bees and like I said I just I made an impression and then when they're after and then I take them out and then after they're baked I glue them in because I don't I don't know I did bake I baked these I baked some of them because uh, but this just pops out I did bake it with it in it but then it pops out and I use glossy accents to um, glue that type of stuff into the clay so these should be really fun to play with I love the bees so I'm planning when my son was looking at them he's like why blue and I'm like well it's the sky <laughs> but I did some white pearl too I don't know why um, and these are the the big jewelry pieces so see now I don't know it's just square it, you don't have to worry about the shape of it you just have a square so let me show you how um, my box turned out and I'm loving it I, I wish I could film it from forward but to me it kind of looks boho and I don't even really know what boho is but it it has a very like India feel like the stuff that they do on their hands and stuff I don't know like all these curls and stuff it has that feeling um I love the black background I'm so happy about that so basically these are all white tiles they're all white polymer clay that I've stamped on and painted or used mica powders and um, mica um, like rubs so this is the um, opal the opalescent let me go in a little bit closer it is super pretty like I'm really happy with the opalescent so I have two little pieces of that on the top and then I used a piece of ball chain from my stash and a piece of that bling chain that I showed you. And I bought this in the jewelry department. You just go right to the jewelry department. And you really only need little pieces at a time, so a, um, it goes a long way. Um, these are all the tiles that I did that I showed you when I stamped on them and then I pulled in this one is a butterfly stamp that I, was, that I have that I had done previously and these two that I had done previously so um, but I love it I think it turned out good um, and then the box itself has I did all four sides and I just did my best this one slid down on me so I'm a little sad because it was much straighter but when you're gluing you know you have to give it a minute to set up I also added uh, micro beads and those of you who've seen my videos before know that I love to add these are tiny little beads inside here um, and I have both of the packs that Michaels has um, one is kind of basically like a metallic set and the other ones just kind of like brights um, so I included those where, where I couldn't excuse my hands are a bit messy I also added a piece of crystal and these are I think they're by Tulip and I know that they're um, I bake these too I think they're glass I'm pretty sure they're glass but I just used again the glossy accents put a little tad on there and just glued a little gem onto each foot micro beads and I use glossy accents to do that and just tiles that I thought fit in those places I used some of the grout sticks so that's the gold and then I added silver stickle dots on top of it the opal and again the so yeah I added on top of the silver I put gold little um and I think I touched it there it smushed um, more seed beads and the same thing here these are just on top of the gold I put silver stickles and on top of the silver I put gold but look at that opalescent that is so amazing I love it I'm really happy with it like I said I mean I get more excited when it's something different something new that I haven't done before and this brings in all things all types of crafts I'm gonna go back up oops that's not up um, 
oh, and the last thing I did, I just didn't think this much black showing, see, and this isn't quite dry, and to put, this is just the trims that you get at Michael's in the dollar bin, um, this is it right here, the adhesive trims, and I cut it off, because I was just going to do it with stickles or something, and I, this is so easy to make a straight line. That's really why I did it, and I use Fabri-Tac glue. This is a, a very strong adhesive, but it's also tacky at the time, so when I put it on, it sticks right away. You don't have to wait for it to dry, so it's, it's great for being able to do a, a, a piece like this. So it just adds so much to it when I added that to it. So I'll hold it up this way so you can kind of get the full. It was just too much black there in the middle and so adding that bling just finished it off so nice. I love it. I think this is the first time I've ever put tiles on the sides of the box as well and I just took a, um, like a, I think it's a fabric pencil, quilter's pencil before I started and I just drew a line around the top of the box because the lid has to fit on there so and then I knew where how high I could go with the um, tiles so I just had to come back and show you this real quick I'm gonna go to bed I'm tired but I love it I think it looks super good and I love the black like I said now I could have just painted that all gold but either way I think it you know, I think I did a good job on it. I think I'm happy with it. Stop fighting it and just, it is what it is, right? All right, you guys. Oh, but I was saying, this brings together stamping, painting, jewelry, because I have done some jewelry, um, and claying. So it's so great that you can have something that it, it mixes it all together, you know? And um, so... I'll be back. I am going to continue on my claying work. This absolutely inspired me and makes me think. I just went and bought another block of white Primo. Um, and I it's $10, but there's a 50% off coupon this um, week at Michael's. So I got it for $5. So this will make me a lot of tiles. And I definitely think I want to stamp some more of these because I don't have that many. This is what's left. I mean, there's quite, I could probably do another box or two, but I was thinking I would do a whole frame. So I have this frame that I started. It's just gessoed, and uh, I think I have like one coat of gold on here, but I could put black. I think I want to just go over this whole thing with black and do the same style because it's so colorful and bright. So I think I'm going to work on that some more, okay you guys? So that's it. Thanks for watching.